we're gonna spend the next 30 or so hours sailing across this notoriously gusty area of the Mediterranean. Leaving France, we're leaving France and making our way to our first new country of the year. Our first new country of the year? Spain. That's Spain. We're going to do so on our 44-foot sailing yacht, Telaru. Easy breezy. That we live on and travel on full time. Oh, there's so many. This is the French island, Pokerole, that we are starting our passage from in today's video. If you missed it, we sailed here in last week's video, which you'll probably want to check out if you love sailing vlogs mixed with action and travel inspiration. But back to today's video, this will be our first overnight passage of the year. Super, super, super excited. As we complete this 141 mile passage. Let's get her done, y'all. <laughs> You'll probably also want to stick around to hear about this big mistake that left me feeling pretty bad. I actually did something really bad yesterday, and it's all my fault. But before we get into all of this, we first need to buy a fresh baguette at the local bakery. Welcome back to Sailing Tellaroo. We're leaving France. Another exciting thing about today's video is that, drum roll please. We're doing our first overnight passage of the year. We're just waiting on the bakery to open because we wanna purchase some of their bread and they open at 7.30. But we're super, super, super excited because we are going to Spain, mainland Spain. We have never sailed to mainland Spain before, so this is a first and I've never been to mainland Spain. We've got about maybe like a 30 hour passage. Let's get going. Y'all, we have just backed out of the slip. That might be the easiest exit from a slip we've had. We did not have a boat on our port side and our dock neighbor to our starboard side was a French gentleman in a Lagoon 420 and he left about an hour ahead of us. He was headed to Marseille. We had wide open spaces on either side of good old Tellarou. Easy breezy. Now we're just going to make our way out of the harbor. Here in Pocaroles there's a little narrow channel that's got pretty heavy ferry traffic in it, but all of the ferries have come in this morning so far, so we have a clear shot. Well, y'all, here we go, sailing back out on the open seas again, and we couldn't be fonder because they will truly take you hither and yonder. So, au revoir, Francais, and hola, España. Allez, on y va. Before we really got going too far, Sean decided to give the windows a little clean. Then he let out the mainsail, something we do a lot because it helps this on hole with that rolly feeling back and forth, keeping us healed over a bit and a lot more comfortable. This little bird came and landed right beside Sean's shoulder right here. Oh, there it is. It's a little bitty bird. It's around noon and we put the table up, tuna egg salad. This is the baguette that Sean picked up this morning from the bakery before we left. We're about to have some yummy lunch underway. A little pickle, pickle juice. <laughs>
After checking the weather forecast apps multiple times every day, we feel we picked the best window to cross this windy, gusty alley. So much so that for the first whole day at sea, we didn't have enough wind to sail. The sun was beaming down during this calm day at sea and we felt excitement for the soon to come days of nothing but sunshine again as we sailed into warmer climates. Something we've been longing for and missing desperately during the damp winter we've recently experienced in southern France. This first day at sea was a sure sign of things getting better and better by the day, or perhaps warmer and better with each wave that swept us forward, nautical mile by nautical mile. We're finally getting warm. Other than best food. We saw dolphins. Where did they go? I'm just so happy we saw them for a split second. I was beginning to think that the Mediterranean didn't actually have dolphins. Dinner looks so good. Classic meal, hearty, cream of mushroom, rice, and lemon pepper asparagus. Thank you, baby. Of course. Cheers. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, there's so many. Oh, I hope I I need to get out. <laughs> Sunset dolphins. For the second or third time of the day, dolphins had appeared for us, and by the time I began recording, they were gone again. Dolphins are one of the little joys of sailing, and they always, always bring a smile to my face. Even though they disappeared, we were still feeling high on life though, because we were sailing into a sunset like this one. One of the feelings you can only consistently experience by traveling the world on a sailboat. Good morning, y'all. It's about 12 a.m. I have just started my first night shift. Mm -hmm. Sean did a 12 and I've done 12 before. Everything's going good so far. Everything looks clear. The sea set has gotten a little bit more rolly, but nothing crazy. True wind speed right now is right around 10 knots. Our boat speed is about 5 knots. We are still motoring. Things going good. It's just been cold. Uh, I was in a bikini during the day because it got so hot now it's like in the 40s and it is cold again. So anyway, just wanted to give y'all a little update. Our first night watches of 2024, which is crazy. Super excited to be on the move again. We'll catch y'all a little bit later. Good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day aboard Sailing Teller Roo. We have basically had no wind the entire passage, but we're super thankful to have almost made it across that crazy like wind alley. I don't even know what to call it. We are about three hours, almost three hours out from our new country that we're gonna be in. We're approaching a brand new country our first new country of the year. Sea State a while ago was a bit turned up. It's not incredibly crazy right now, but earlier it was a bit turned up and I peed. Don's just taking a little nap because he only got four hours of sleep last night because he did the first night watch from like eight to 12. I did the second one, 12 to four, and then he did the third one, four to eight. And so I came up here and he just went down about 30 minutes ago just to take a little cat nap. I saw some dolphins this morning. I think I might have captured them for like a brief moment. I think they left already. They were one hop and done. Oh, back there. Woo! 
are going into warmer weather. It was really cold last night. It's chilly this morning, but basically it's gonna be like five degrees warmer here than it was where we were in France. I just wanted to pop on and give y'all a little update. All right, y'all, it's a brand new day and here we are off the coast of mainland Spain. We are super excited to explore the stunning Mediterranean coast of Spain. That's one of the awesome things about sailing on Telaru is we get to experience so many different adventures in new places. So another country means another flag. So it's time to get this French flag down and hoist up the Spanish flag. So let's get her done, y'all. Woo We got our windows down, driving down the 405, sing along to the radio. Mm -mm. We're gonna make it someday, nothing's gonna get in our way. We will be the biggest band in town. Mm -mm. Round and round the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. The landscapes have gotten so beautiful, y'all. Saturday night. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna quit my job. Never wanna have no boss. I just wanna play my rock and roll like they do on the radio. Okay, we have officially made it. We are anchored. Gosh, it's a beautiful freaking day. John's getting everything put back into the anchor locker and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the dinghy down into the water. good first dinghy ride of the year yeah. it is actually so beautiful from the boat here at night Good morning. The sun has not yet risen. I'm just kind of here at the nav station to get everything off the memory cards and begin editing. But I actually did something really bad yesterday. We got the dinghy down. We were gonna go to town. Sean had chained the dinghy to the boat with a lock and key. He handed me the key to unlock the lock and take off the chain so that we could go to land. This was my first time doing it this year. The chain was really heavy and it's all my fault. Luckily I didn't drop the whole ring of keys in the water, but I dropped the lock in the water. So Sean had to come back on the boat, find another lock, come back out there. We we're using this other lock for now, but the, the lock that I dropped was like, it was a really good stainless steel, heavy duty. I feel really bad. It was a mistake though. I was trying my best to be really careful, but it all happened so fast and I cut my finger in the process. And <sighs> anyway, I'll show you all the sunrise in a little bit. All right, the sun has started to come up. So I'm gonna show it all around. Well, it's quiet and nobody's really out yet. The sun is coming up from back there. About 7, 6.55, something like that in the morning. And this is just a still, calm view. Dingy. It's a little windy this morning. 
Now that we've arrived to Rosas, Spain, here's a little info about the area. This is a Catalonian region of Spain. Rosas is an important fishing port and a touristic area. It's known for its Mediterranean cuisine, the architecture, the historic citadel of Rosas, its many beaches and water sports, and has a population just shy of 20,000 people. Babe, what? did you find? Well, I was out hunting some SIM cards for data now that we're in Spain, and I kind of been on this little bourbon hunting kick here lately and trying to see if I find anything interesting sitting on a shelf when we're out and about. And I walked into this wine store called the Wine Palace, and they had a pretty good selection of a lot of different interesting stuff as far as wine. They didn't have a whole lot of bourbon stuff. They had uh, a few, but they did have this Jack Daniels Bottled in Bond Traveler's Edition. And Bottled in Bond means that it's aged at least four years, bottled at 100 proof, all at the same distiller. So I have not seen this before. I never saw this in the States. I think it was originally for the foreign markets in the duty-free stores. Uh, I was not at a duty-free store. I was just at a wine store here in Spain, but I've never seen it. To me, it's very unique. I've never tasted Jack Daniels Bottled in Bond 100 proof. So I'm super excited to give this a shot. I'm glad to found it. So let's open it up and see what this tastes like. Got a very nice, bougie looking travel box. Here we go. Wrapper cracked. Smells like Jack Daniels. Let's pour a little finger and give it a sip. You know, I have to admit, the plain old Jack Daniels Black Label number seven, I've just never been a big fan of Jack Daniels. But I have to tell you, this Bottled and Bond Hunter Proof is definitely the best, smoothest Jack Daniels I've had in that Hunter Proof. It's got that, I think the bourbon connoisseurs call it that Kentucky hug. That's good stuff. I could definitely see this being added to the sipping list and this go really nice with a good cigar. Cheers, y'all. While in Rose's Spain, we've enjoyed a mostly empty anchorage where we've been able to sit and enjoy one another's company. One of our favorite things to do is sit up on the deck together and enjoy a beautiful view, usually while sipping a cocktail or wine. And since it's still a bit early in the year, we've got this anchorage all to ourselves for the moment. But it won't be like this for long, so we're soaking it in. We feel so excited to have completed our first overnight passage of the year, 141 nautical miles in the books, and we did it without encountering any of that notorious weather between France and Spain. Now, with each new stop along the way, we have sunnier days and warmer weather to look forward to. Good morning. Don's getting the dinghy all tied up to this little wall here. And we're going to find breakfast. Tellaru is right out there. It's not far at all. Just dinghy right up here. Ready, Freddy. Let's roll. Let's roll. Well, y'all looks like we found a hearty breakfast. It's not exactly country breakfast with country sausage and gravy and biscuits, but uh, it's European country. Looks good. We're ready to get in, get in amongst this breakfast. Looks tasty. While in Rose's Spain, we went to the local markets. Some were apparel centered while others were overflowing with produce. And Sean also took me to the wine palace that he came across a few days prior where we picked up a few more goodies. And then upon arrival back to the boat, there were jet skiers and sailboats out as well. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up today's video. I've got my gloves on because Sean and I have been doing boat work this afternoon. Um, but you'll see that in the next video. This video is long enough already. 
So there's not too close out here. I want to give a big thank you to our patrons. Thank y'all so much for joining the wave over on Patreon. Have been loving creating nearly daily content over there for you guys. So thank you so much for being there. We really appreciate y'all. If you liked this video, definitely give it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoy our content. Leave us a comment below. We love to read your comments and see what y'all have to say. Anyway, we're ending this out here. Thank y'all so much again for watching this video. And we'll see y'all next time on Sailing Telaroo.